Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be getting some organizing done. So I just pulled up to Home Goods. There's also a TJ Maxx right in this parking lot actually. You can see it right behind me. Um, and then there's a Target right across the street. So I'm gonna to try to get as many organizational things that I can from, hopefully I can just find it what I need at Home Goods, but we've got options if I need to find something else. Um, my house has just been driving me nuts with the organization. I am not the most organized person and I feel like a lot of people think that I am, but I'm just not. I keep my house clean and like picked up, but if you open my drawers and my cabinets, they are not organized. So I've been trying to get the house in order, get things organized before we start school next week. We are homeschooling our three kids. So, um, having just like an organized space has really been a big goal of mine. So I recently organized the homeschool closet, got that all situated. And I also organized, um, a couple of cabinets like in the bathroom and in our dining room and stuff like that. So I am just going to keep going. And, um, oh, I also did my bedroom closet. So today I'm going to try to just work on a bunch of random spaces like just do as much as I can so like kitchen cabinets kitchen drawers um, under my bathroom sink I organized that not that long ago but I didn't get any like containers or anything and I really have just been wanting to get some containers and organize stuff so that's what we're gonna work on today so hopefully this video brings you guys some motivation um, I don't really have a game plan I am just winging it I didn't like measure any drawers or cabinets or anything like that I probably should have but we're just gonna go with it, so come along with me. Let's see what we can find, and then we'll get home and get to organizing. One hour later. I think one store is gonna do it. just loaded everything up in here now we're gonna head home and this is just all from home goods so I think I'm gonna call it good with this for now and see what we can get accomplished with this stuff all right I just got home so here's all my stuff that I got it it really isn't that much stuff um, I'm super excited to get to work on this so I'm gonna show you guys everything I got first um, this is for the fridge um, I already have the fridge pretty dang organized, but this is like a little colander bin. So you guys always see me wash and cut up my strawberries and put them in a container and I have to put like paper towels in the bottom for the moisture. So this is like, you know, a little basket inside of here and it has a little divider in it. And then I got four of these. They say fridge and freeze bins, fridge and freezer organization, but I think I'm gonna use these in my drawers for like my towels. Um, I got this for cutting boards and whatnot. I got another one of these egg holders. We already have one, but I don't know what happened to the lid for it. So this one has the lid, so then I can stack the other one on top of that. This is a junk drawer organizer. That is what that is for. And then I got four of these with like the little gripper mats in them. I wanted to get all clear, but I didn't have clear in this size. And I got these for our drawer that has like um, plastic bags and, you know, tin foil and that kind of stuff. So I got four of those. It's a pretty big drawer. Got some ice cube trays because our refrigerator uh, while I love our refrigerator, it makes the smallest amount of ice you could possibly imagine. And we all drink ice water all day long. Um, that's basically all we drink. I'm like the only one that drinks sparkling water. And I only have like one a day. So we needed a solution for more ice. So um, I got two of those and they have the lids on them. So I can stick them in our freezer because we have like the freezer that's down below. Um, you know, like the drawer. And then I got this. It's a two pack of refrigerator organizers. Three of these, uh, like Lazy Susan cabinet bins. So I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but I'm sure I can use them somewhere like under my bathroom cabinet. And then I got this size organizer. Two of those, two of those. I just got different sizes so I can just see like what works. This was kind of random, but I've been trying to keep my eye out for something like this. Got this wood tray for my bathroom um, to put, I have like a basket and like 
the hand soap and like a little container, Q-tips and stuff. So that is going to go on my bathroom counter. And then over here, this trash can has a dent in it. Okay, there we go. I got this little trash can to go in my room under my desk. This was also random. I got a garlic press because I'm always mincing garlic and it's just a pain in the butt. So easier. And then I grabbed some of these sponges. And then these I got for my makeup drawer. My makeup drawer is a disaster. So we're going to organize that. But this was a three-piece container, and they're decently deep. So that is that. So there's everything that we got. Now I am pretty much just going to get to work. I might do a voiceover, um, or I might pop in and chat with you guys here and there. But let's get to work getting some organization done. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect
right, I'm gonna show you guys what I did in here. So here's the little tray. I already had these things. I always have washcloths in here for like drying my face off when I wash my face every night. I need to fill this up. I actually just got a shipment from Grove Collaborative with some um, hand soap refill. So, and then I'm here. I just have Q-tips and little um, cotton rounds for toner. So that is that. I did just have that stuff sitting out on the counter. So I love how that looks. And then I organized these two drawers and under my sink again. I feel like when figuring out organization for your house, you it's like trial and error. Like you have to organize a space multiple times until you figure out what's gonna work. So like a few weeks ago, I organized under my sink, but I didn't have like containers for everything. I, it was organized, but that didn't work because then it just got to be super messy again. But if everything has like a container and a space to put it in, I feel like it goes back into that container and so just getting tossed in there. So we'll see if this works, but for now I'm super happy with how it turned out. This is my makeup drawer now. The ones I initially got for my makeup didn't end up all fitting in here. I wanted to fit all three of them to like fill up this whole space and it just didn't work out. So I used these two and they fit perfect. So this is all my makeup that I use pretty much on a regular basis. I put some other stuff into, I have uh, this makeup bag over here in this cabinet that has like extra brushes and makeup that I don't use all the time. But this is like, I don't use all of this every single day, but like I use all these brushes every day. Um, brow pencils, foundation, lip stuff. I have a whole bunch of lip stuff in my purse. Um, eyeshadow palettes, bronzer, powder, mascaras. That is much better than the mess that it was. And then this bottom one, you guys saw me kind of switch things around in here multiple times, uh, but I think I got it figured out. So I already had these little containers, which I still have a few of them left over here. I just wiped them out. Um, so I put one of them in there. Um, these drawers are kind of just like, I don't, I didn't have containers that were like perfectly sized for all of this, but that's okay. We can mix match them up. So I've got skincare in this little first one right here. And I just stuck my makeup wipes, um, my makeup remover wipes right in between these two containers because they fit perfect. And then in this one, I've got perfume, deodorant, uh, white crest, white strips, and then the stuff that I use to tint my eyebrows, and then the little brush I use to tint my eyebrows. Back here, I've got some face masks. These are my favorite face masks ever. They're amazing. Got my tanning mitt, my favorite self tanner, which I only use, I'm gonna start using this like probably this fall when I'm not outside in the sun all the time, um, but during the summer, I don't self tan. So there's that, and then my little brush that I use also. And then in this little container, I just have my combs and my brushes. So these are all the ones that fit, and that is much better now. I did have like hair ties and hair tools down here, but um, for like how things fit, that just didn't work out. So now we've got the situation in there. In this one, I have my hair tools. So I've got two curling irons, a flat iron, and a blow dryer. And then um, this one I already had as well as the identical one to this that's in that other drawer I just showed you that has like my combs and stuff in it. Those I already had, I think they were from Target. I'm not exactly sure, but got some jewelry cleaner and some lotion in that one. This is one of the new ones that I got. Actually these two, these two, and this one are all new ones I just got. But this one has all my hair clips. This one has all my hair ties. And then back there, I used one of the ones that I already had to put my extra, um, like my backup makeup remover wipes. I always buy the Costco brand and they come in a big pack. So that's just my back stock right there. And then in this one, I have all of my hair care stuff. So dry shampoo, leave-in conditioner, um, texture spray, the hair spray. And then that one back there is all nail polish, nail polish remover, fingernail clippers, um, my little nail gel kit. And that is all in that one. So now everything has a home. So I think it will stay much more organized. All right, now this is all the stuff I have left over. So we're gonna move on to the kitchen. I put, actually I came out here to see about these, like how many would fit in this drawer. Cause I have this drawer that has all of um, dish rags and then those are all cleaning rags. So I wanted to see how many of these would fit in here to see if I could use one in my bathroom. And this drawer is gonna fit three of these, so. Got three of them out here and I was able to use one under my bathroom sink for my hair tools. So I think I'm gonna work on this drawer 
next. Okay, now we're gonna move on to this top drawer here. It's kind of a, a, a mixed bag of a whole bunch of different stuff. These are actually oven liners that I need to, I need to clean out my oven and then put these in there. So I should set these out so that I remember to do that. But now I am going to clear this one out and um, wipe it all down. And then the containers that I got for that drawer are these when your world stops spinning and you got no place to turn yeah and when you grasp for a glimpse and the things that you never learn yeah then you take a little while to remind me of the one you were and everything will be recalled yeah I took all of the Ziploc bags out of the boxes and I put the freezer bags here, sandwich bags, snack bags, candles and lighters, matches back here. I didn't have a container that would fit right here. Um, so that's just empty space. Got a wine opener, meat thermometer, and a little funnel, kind of random. And then I've got parchment paper and plastic wrap and then some skewers. And my tin foil actually doesn't fit in this drawer. So I keep it down here because it's like this huge, huge one. So that is there. Now this drawer just needs to be cleaned out. Alright, so I've got the kitchen bags, the aluminum foil, and then our recycling bags for cans in this drawer. Okay, next up we have this junk drawer here in the kitchen that just has junk in it. So I'm going to use the junk drawer organizer for this drawer now.
have some super bright light coming in the window right now, so the lighting is a little weird here on this drawer. But what a difference this little tray made. And then I just took out a bunch of papers that honestly just needed to be thrown away. So got a couple little pens here, some keys, chapstick, flashlights, an extra little Alexa holder, a charger. Um, and then this is just some random stuff that doesn't really have a place. Oh, I'm not talking to Alexa. <laughs> Um, some garden twine and a nail file. So random, but everyone has a junk drawer, so there's ours. And here's another one. I just realized that this one is full of junk too, so a lot of it needs to be thrown away, but I'm gonna transfer what is gonna be kept into this drawer, so then this one will be empty. This drawer is also pretty junky. Um, we have some cat food in here, some random papers and stuff. So I am gonna put Jasper's little wet cat foods up here. Now I feel like I need to get a container for this drawer to put his cat food in. We're low right now, I need to get some more. Okay, so now this bottom drawer and this middle drawer are empty, so I think I'm gonna use these for my bags. So this cabinet down here is completely stuffed full of plastic bags and paper bags. And um, like every time we get plastic bags, if we get grocery delivery or something, then we just shove them in here. And I want to use this cabinet for all of my like baking sheets, um, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do some rearranging and organizing now. I got this cabinet all cleaned out. That was a lot of bags, but we live in Oregon and there's a plastic bag ban in our state. So when you go grocery shopping, you either have to take your own bags or you can buy paper bags or plastic bags. So we have a whole bunch of plastic bags because grocery delivery, they just come in bags and then you get charged for them. Um, 
and then if you forget your bags obviously then you can purchase bags so we actually use these bags in our small garbage cans here in the house so like both of the bathrooms the laundry room and then um i also just got that one for my desk so these all get used or we like take them grocery shopping we use them for camping or anytime we need a plastic bag so now um I just folded them all. Instead of taking up all this useful cabinet space, now these drawers that just had junk in them have paper and plastic bags. So, um, we don't have that many paper bags, so I'm not, we don't really use them for anything, but I figure with homeschool and like projects coming up, we may need them, so I'm gonna leave them in there, and then we have all the plastic bags down here. So now I've got this little contraption. Hopefully it fits. I didn't check to see if it would fit. Um, let's see if it'll fit in here. Yes, it does. It fits perfect. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Let me check and see. It's not going to work, you guys. I need it to go in the other direction. Like, I need it to go in like this for it to be able to work. And it is too big to fit that way. I got these two new containers in here, so I just have juice boxes for the kids in there for now. Who knows what will end up in there. Um, actually, I may switch out the yogurts in these. We shall see. Um, and then I just put the other egg container in here, got that washed and put in here. Um, I need to go grocery shopping, so I will have that full probably later this week and then we're out of strawberries right now so i put our grapes in one side of that so that is what the fridge is looking like now now the last cabinet i'm going to work on today is this corner cabinet here so i was thinking that our upper corner cabinets were also like our lowers which the lowers need to be organized too you guys i'm not kidding you every single cabinet in this whole house and drawer needs to be organized but i cannot do it all today so this will be for another day but i was thinking that our upper ones were just like the lowers with these lazy susan deals but they're not so what i'm gonna do is see if these will still work up here because i have like supplements and spark and we keep like our shaker bottles up here so i want to try and see if it'll still work all right, I got myself in pretty deep here, but we have this cabinet over here that is full of like supplements, stuff that I don't even use, stuff that needs to be gone through. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and tackle this one also and then try to combine because we have like this supplement cabinet and then we have like this cabinet that has some of our stuff. Oh boy, let's get, let's get these emptied out and restocked. The choice to do the best of what we find. If we could see through a million eyes If we could see the wound of truth in everything If we could listen to the rolling of the tides If we could hear a thousand voices when they sing When they sing Oh, 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 I managed to scrounge up four 
clear containers from different cabinets in here that were not even being used. And then I also have a couple of little dollar store baskets over there that I could use if I need to. Um, so I'm going to use these and I'm going to put all my roommate stuff in one spot. Um, but I'm going to use those to get all of our vitamins. I have like a huge back stock of vitamins um, and protein and like pre-workout and then our uh, shaker bottles and then all of our things of spark but the future will remember what we said if we could see through a million eyes if we could see the wound of truth and everything if we could Okay, so this cabinet over here is done now. Let me give you guys a little tour. This is Donnie's little basket. So we've got his vitamins, probiotics. We both take these ritual vitamins currently. And then our probiotics are from Advocare, which I have linked down below for you guys. We've been taking Advocare products for nine years now. So we both drink Spark, which is vitamin and amino acid supplement. Um, also has caffeine enhances mental focus, boosts energy, like literally, you guys always ask me where I get my energy from. It's this, but without the jitters and crash. Like Donnie used to drink monster energy drinks every single day and he quit those nine years ago because of Spark and I used to drink like super sugary coffee, same thing. Um, anyways, um, here's my natural calm. I take this at night. And then I've got my probiotics, my uh, multivitamin, my Spark. I also take this and my omega-3 fatty acids and then before dinner i take this one and then up here we've got pre-workout this one has all of our hydration packs in it so we have different kinds we've got some liquid iv we have some from gainful and then we have some from advocare so i just put them all in here they all do the same thing and then back here, I just have some random stuff. We got some samples of this um, Oasis stuff from Advocare. And then I have some uh, Plexus stuff that I got from my stepmom to try out. So the Active and the Slim. But Advocare has like the exact same stuff. And like I said, we've been taking that stuff for like nine years. So um, using, I'll use all this up. Oh, and then I have some little packets of spark in here also some strawberry packets so this is just like a little thing of random stuff there and then 
In this one, I have some Ningxia from Young Living, which is um, a supplement also, like a natural, like, wolfberry thing. And then back there, I have some meal replacement shakes from Advocare. I like to do those sometimes for breakfast. Then up here, we have our protein powder. You guys saw me dump it all into this container. We had, like, three different things of... Um, protein so I just put it all in here with one scooper and that's from Gainful and it comes with these little flavor packs so you pick what flavor you want to go in your protein shake and put it in with your protein so those are up there and then all of our shaker bottles we have a whole bunch that are in the dishwasher right now too so we'll be able to add those up there and then the very top I just have two um extra things of spark that are not open yet and then that basket has like all of our backup vitamins and stuff like that just like a back stock so now all of our supplements and all of that stuff are all in one cabinet so then over here i just put those containers that thing and then all my brewmate stuff this whole cabinet needs to be organized still but like i said we're gonna have to save that for another day but it is now five o'clock I've been working on this since about, I don't know, what time did I leave here this morning? Like 11, 11.30? I think I left at like 11.30 and I've been shopping and then literally like since I got back from that, I've been working on organizing all this stuff. So I'm wiped out from all of that. It really didn't seem like that much work, but once you get going, it's like one drawer leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, and it's tiring. So we're going to get ready to order some dinner and call it a night. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you some motivation to get some things organized around your house. And you definitely don't have to go out and like buy new containers. Even going to the dollar store and getting some of those like little white baskets that I have from the dollar store would work awesome too. So whatever your budget calls for, it just feels so nice to get a space organized and I don't know it just makes me like feel better when I have an organized space and as you guys see all my cabinets and drawers have been unorganized so now that I'm getting them in order it just feels really good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe if this is your first video of mine that you are watching that way you won't miss out on any of our future videos and hit the thumbs up button if you like seeing these types of videos on my channel it lets me know what kind of content to make for you guys but I appreciate you thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one Bye.